All right, today we are installing a two inch spacer lift on a geo tracker. This is a 96 four wheel drive, 1.6 liter. It's this side I've already done. Uh, it was really not that bad. Just this spacer here. This strut spacer up top, longer bolts to go in. But uh, I'll we'll walk through doing the other side. Okay, so it's pretty self explanatory, but there is an easy way to do it and a hard way to do it. So, the best and most simple way to do it disconnect your steering linkage here first. Then we'll come up here, break this big nut loose on this housing on top of the strut because later on you're going to want to shove those studs out and we'll go through a couple of different ways of doing that but then you're going to take your strut loose of course from the top then tracker or geo rather has engineered this thing so freaking well there's these three bolts right here with the nuts on the bottom the bolts are kind of hard to press back up but this where the ball joint attaches just slides right into the frame. So you just break these three nuts loose, pop those bolts out, the whole assembly just slides right out from under the vehicle. After that, we'll come over here, disconnect the sway bar, push down on the A-arm, pop the spacer in under the coil spring, and then we will Pop the space run under the strut. So let's get to it. So these bolts come out pretty easily but you're going to have to use a punch to get them all the way out because they hit the CV bit. I want to get stuck in there. bolts out from under the uh, right here by the ball joint I've put the jack up under the a-arm actually there's a nice little pocket that's out of the way of everything you can put the jack up to relieve the pressure from the strut take this thing right up Engaged and holding on by the strut. So now you can drop. This piece here slides right into the frame so the four bolts go on. Now it's hanging by the strut, which will allow us to unbolt the sway bar, allow the A arm to drop, actually kind of press down a little bit, take the spring out put the spacer in, put it all back together. All right, so one thing that you want to make sure to do when you do take everything out, you just push down on the A-arm, it'll come straight down. And just pull the spring out, lift it up, and pull it out. And right here, 
But you want to make sure to take this little gasket boot thing out. I'm going to slide it right off the cone. Take your spacer, put it in the right way, and there it is. That's it. Mm -hmm. So then just take your spring, put, put pressure down on the A arm, of course. Pop it up into place. Make sure you rotate it into the... Rotate it into the groove. And that's that, Jack. All right, so on the strut, you can have these studs that are pressed in from the factory. So what you need to do, easiest way, get yourself a simple press some sort. Just shove them right out. Sometimes you get a little squirrely. Knock them most of the way out. Here. <laughs> and so, if you've not got a press, a C clamp or a vise will work fine too. So you just put a socket on the back side of the stud and drive it out slowly. And pop it out just like that. 